So this is the top floor. Um, we're, we have four bedrooms up here. Two of them are quite small. Um, one of them has been converted from a large, we think a large bedroom into a bedroom and a bathroom. The bathroom's a good size. Uh, there's also, they've added a hallway here, um, which kind of leads to a ladder that goes up to the loft, I guess you'd call it. We also have a pigeon area, which um, I have an actual video for, which I'll link at the back to, to show you what it looks like up there. But, um, cause there's a lot of boxes right now. Um, but yeah, it's pretty interesting what we found up there. Uh, and our plans are to make windows in it and have like a telescope and be look at the night sky and do fun stuff with that. So I'll throw that video at the end for you to look at if you're interested. So this is another bedroom we have up here on this top floor. Sorry for the echo, it's gonna be pretty bad. Um, but yeah, it's a good size. Once again, probably four or five meters by four or five meters. We have a closet in here, which will be good for hanging up tall things. It'll certainly take a king or a super king bed. And uh, we're probably gonna not do as much, uh, what would you call it, kind of glamorizing or making it fancy. We'll probably maybe put a ceiling rose, maybe some coving and kind of leave it at that. We're probably not gonna do a lot of woodwork or paneling up here because probably not gonna be filling a lot of these rooms. Um, it's such a silly big house that, you know, if we have guests over, they won't care that much anyway. So we're just gonna have a few nice rooms to have people stay in. Um, once again, self exposure over here, two good windows. Um, there's actually something that we have to do with a lot of these windows and not necessarily the windows because they're in really good shape, but the shutters. So the shutters, because it's so windy here in the winter and spring and whatnot, um, they tend to blow open. So they rip out of the wall. So we have to repair a lot of them. So there's a whole lot of windows in this house, which is why I've only got that one open and not this one open is that it. Uh, if you try to open the shutters, they fall off, which we don't want, obviously. So that's on the list of things to do that are pretty crucial to get done eventually, you know, more sooner versus later. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of damage on the thing, on the, on the shutters and the, the, the pins that hold them in or the, the hinges. So, but in order to do that, we need scaffolding. So what we're hoping to do is to, when we get the roof replaced, we're going to pay a little extra and get them to keep scaffolding up on the two sides of the house. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna repair all those shutters myself, P take them down, paint them, restore them, and then put them back up again. But that's probably not till next spring. That's what we're guessing, but we're not sure. So the next bedroom is on the other side of the house at the front, and it's got a little sink in it, and it's got windows that can open as well. Uh, we've also don't have any lights in that room. So you're gonna have to kind of bear with me and use your imagination if you can't see something. Let's go take a look. So this is another good size bedroom. Um, it's got, well, we used to call it the Spanish room, I think, or Mexican room. I can't remember what we used to call it because of the wood um, on the ceiling and then over the windows and over the doors. We've got a lot of this wood here. Uh, we're probably not gonna keep it brown. We're not a big fan of brown wood, um, unless it's furniture. Uh, so it may do kind of like a painted a gray, or we may just plasterboard over it or drywall over it. Uh, the wood, this wood, there's nothing, there's no big deal about it. It's done in the 60s. We think this whole roof uh, above us was replaced then. There's nothing, there's nothing authentic about it. Um, it's just whether we want to keep it like that or not. We're probably going to do gray, we're thinking, but we're not sure. It just depends on what kind of, how we decide to decorate this room. Uh, there's also a closet in here that goes quite, quite a bit back. I don't know, about to here. Um, and we've got our, as I said, it's a little sink in here, which they used to do a lot in European houses, I guess. Uh, no toilet, no shower, but just a sink. So I guess you'd come to bed and brush your teeth or do your hair or whatever like that. Um, but yeah, so what we're planning to do is we're planning to take this bedroom and bring the wall out possibly to about here. We're not sure exactly where. Make a little wall here and then a door. And we're gonna put a little shower, a toilet in the corner here and a shower and a little sink and we'll have another ensuite. It won't be very big, but it'll be good enough. We're not planning on like renting out rooms or anything like that or making it into a, you know, a, a hotel. So yeah, we, we've got the wood here, uh, these walls we don't like, there's some sort of stucco stuff, which is kind of why it feels very uh, Adobe or Mexican or Spanish. So we're probably gonna flatten those all down. So we're, right now we're also currently using this to store all the wardrobes we've bought over the, over the while. Um, we've got them 
the stains and stuff is just a spray it for bugs that's we did not washed off but it should be fine we're going to refinish everything anyways but i think there's like six or eight wardrobes in here for all the rooms and i've either drilled out the dowels or unscrewed them or something like that just because it took up so much space and i've just stacked them in this room so this is the either the mexican room or the wardrobe room we're not too sure right now let's go check the other bedrooms on this floor out oh and as well Right here is where I do all my editing videos. So this is going to be my little office. My wife's office will be right below me. Um, but yeah, we're going to be doing, that's where I put all these videos together and where I do all my work that I need to do. Uh, nothing fancy, but yeah, we're not going to do anything there other than making it kind of just painting it and doing them you know, functional with probably some LED lights in the ceilings and that kind of thing. So towards the back of the house and the gardens there, I can't open that window or I would show you. Um, but basically we're using this to store a lot of the beds that we already have. There's nothing wrong with them. Just we've got nowhere to put them and no bedrooms really that need them because we can't, we're not having guests over. So there's a weird oil thing heater here we're going to get rid of. Um, and that also leads to the trap door up there that goes to the pigeon area that I was talking about before. Um, yeah. And then the other thing we're going to plan to do back here is going to put a spiral staircase that goes up to the pigeon area eventually. We'll see how that works. And then we're going to make this whole section here uh, bookshelves and possibly with a kind of a hidden automated door or something that comes out or slides that will allow us into this room. So we have a bookshelf in front of it. So it's kind of like a fun little, you know, you pull the book and the door slides or something like that. And I haven't figured out yet. It's kind of far down the road, but I'm going to have fun with doing stuff like that. And this will be the games room slash guest bedroom for kids or something. I'm not sure. Let's go take a look. Yeah, so we're going to have this as kind of the games room. I'm thinking of putting either a TV on this wall, pull-out couch, or some sort of futon-y thing that you can sit on. And that we can sit here and play video games with and look out the windows. Once again, I can't open this one because the shutter will fall off. Uh, it's nice that we have a lot of cupboards along back here um, that we're going to put filled with, you know, DVDs or music or whatever we want to do in here uh, to store stuff. And uh, yeah, it's, there's a lot of water damage in this room. Uh, this room was absolutely crazy. It was a really dark hunter green kind of wallpaper with blue flowers on it. And it was so dark. It also had a blue uh, linoleum kind of floor in here and it smelled really weird. Well, kind of like medicine or something. I don't know how to explain it, but medicine is the best description I could give you. And it, they wallpapered all the way up into the ceiling, the same wallpaper everywhere. It was the darkest room in the house. I mean, yeah, I know the the shutters close, but it's so much brighter here than it was. And they wallpapered all these doors. It was just crazy. So we're going to brighten it up, redo all the plaster, well, not redo it, but you know, fix all the plaster in here, give it a nice paint and uh, not to go too crazy in here. Yeah, maybe put a, uh, chandelier or something in there but nothing too crazy just if we find something that's an antique or something we'll throw it back in but yeah we may or may not keep these lights we're not sure yet uh and yeah it, basically because it gives us some of the best views in the whole house out here and then on the the small bedroom that's on the other side which i'll show you next so yeah this is a nice little small bedroom we have um it'll probably be the one that people want the most we're not going to do anything too fancy in here. Uh, one thing we do have to do, though, is fix the floor. Uh, the floor is sloping massively down here, and this is above our master bedroom. Uh, so we'll be removing the tiles, flattening it out. This baseboard or skirting board is actually on a, a slope down like that. So it was till it was sloping down before they even put in this wall. So what we think happened is there's a cupboard here. We think this is the original entrance to this room, this bedroom, and then the uh, bathroom beside. And so they've added the wall for the hallway and the, the wall separating the bathroom from this bedroom. So they kind of just did a, making a wall and sat it on this without reinforcing with anything. We're not going to adjust the wall. We're going to leave the wall as it is. We'll remove the baseboards. We're probably going to change them anyways. Remove these tiles in here in the hallway and in the bathroom, which I'll show you next. And then we're just going to basically level the floor and put them back down on top. So this is going to be a great bedroom for someone because it probably has the best view. Uh, we've got a view out here of the Black Mountains and you can see kind of vineyards going towards the mountains. They're just little mountains. They're not quite as big as the Pyrenees. They're definitely not as big as the Pyrenees, but it's kind of nice. Um, you can see when it's raining over there versus not here, the clouds going over them. Yeah, it's a nice view and you can also see the garden, which I spent a lot of time working on. So, but I'll show you that after I show you this floor.
So yeah, basically we've just got a little kind of a closet here. As you can see, the door doesn't open because the floor is all buckled. Um, but we're going to replace all these tiles, as I said. And there's a little ladder here that allows you to go to a trap door that you can get into above the rafters and then into the attic above us. And we're going to probably remove some shelves here we're going to remove, put a water heater in there and, you know, do an electrical panel, that sort of thing. We have to have multiple ones here, so we're going to be putting one of them probably in here. Uh, and anyways, let's go on to the bathroom. I'll show you what we've got to work with. So this would have been the main bathroom in the house. Um, yeah, it's it's definitely 60s. It's pretty cool. So my wife actually wants to keep the sink and we're going to move it down into her workshop or uh, craft room or whatever you want to call it where she does a jewelry and other kind of things so she just likes it i think it's a pretty cool sink uh, we don't want to throw it out and uh yeah why not use it in there uh, for the rest of this bathroom our plan is is to remove this remove the tub remove the bidet remove the toilet remove the shower and completely reorganize everything however we're thinking of keeping these alcoves so what we might do is just reorganize things. So what we're thinking of doing is towards the front where the shower is, this, the walk-in shower, we're gonna put the toilet. We're gonna to put the sink, like a double sink, right here where the bathtub is. And then we're gonna have a huge, well, big walk-in shower here. Uh, I may actually insert a window, a round porthole window, which we have in this house quite a bit. We have one in our ensuite, and then we have one in the kitchen where the marble sink is. Uh, so I may add one in here if we get permission, we have to ask for it, but we probably could. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna have, once again, we, my wife loves the, Samantha loves the tub in front of the window thing. So we're gonna put uh, kind of a standing clawfoot tub here on the edge of this wall, and you'll be able to look out and see birds and clouds and stuff. But anyways, yeah, a lot to do in here. Once again, I gotta remove the floor, straighten it all out, and uh, otherwise, we're not going to go crazy. We're not going to have too many uh, embellishments with plaster. We may put a ceiling rose in here. We'll probably have a chandelier in here hanging over the tub, or at least in the center of this room. And then we're also going to have like LED lights for over the sink and in the shower and stuff like that. So that's the plan for this room. We also have a kind of built-in closets that we're probably going to keep. They don't look so bad. It's a good medicine chest or whatever. So uh, but anyways, yeah, that's our plan. Now let's head down and uh, take a look out the back of the garden.